Hello everyone, welcome back to Detective Jim and Family Adventures. I'm here with Tina and we're doing an unboxing of this new DJI Neo uh, drone. Absolutely brilliant. So let's do an unboxing and let's see what we get inside. We get the drone itself. Nice little packaging. Uh, that probably some accessories. Okay, we got some stickers, DJI stickers, and the manual book. So let's open this and let's see what's actually inside. So here we go. There's a little Neo. It's very tiny. It weighs 135 grams. Light and portable. So. It for those metal detectors out there, where you can fit these in your flying bag. Uh, it takes off on your palm and lands on your palm. Uh, AI uh, AI tracks, so it, it tracks automatically to you. Uh, multiple uh, options of using controls. You can actually use this without the controller, which is absolutely a winner for us isn't it yeah uh, you can use your phone you can use the N3 controller I think it is on the N2 and it also you can use it with the FPV version uh, which is the goggles and the controller for 139 uh, 169 pounds it's a non-brainer isn't it mm -hmm. uh, the uh, take this, this is the gimbal guard so the gimbal go only goes in up and down motion uh, yeah you get a couple of little props with it so they're spare you get your guard, you get your charger like I said for a 135 gram drone that flies, it's basically flies itself <laughs> Italian non brainer uh, these are the functions. So we, there we go. It just it little sequence. It's actually torches. So these are your modes. So all you do is press. Drony. Circle. Rocket. Spotlight. Direction track. So you can actually don't need the remote or your phone to control this which is absolutely brilliant so we're going to get take it out and do a little flight test and see how it is uh, yeah it's cracking little drill so let's do some little flight test we're going to do it without the controller uh, without the phone then we'll do it with the phone and uh, you can do manual mode as well with it so let's go and do, and do a little test Right guys, we've got on follow now. Uh, so I'm going to set off from the palm of arm and let it follow me and do what it's doing. Close. Follow. Three, two, one. So there you go. And free. And now the drone is following me. Hey, we've been running. So, the metal detected. If you want to do like a nice uh, drone shot of your digging, absolutely perfect. So, there you go. And we're going to land it, sit on my hand. There you go. So yeah, absolutely brilliant this cracking little short toy. Uh, oh, what you call it a toy? For those metal detectorists who are out there who are looking for something to do little drone shots with, absolutely perfect because it just fits in your pocket. So yeah, so we're going to connect up to the controller. By my phone. By a phone. 
and let's see what other stuff we can do with it. Right guys, Tina's going to take over on this part. She's going to do uh, what it's called, droney, and we'll show you what that does. There you go. So like I say, it comes from the palm of arm. Uh, show, uh, show you the video quality. So elevated. Right, you've got stuff like that. You can do this actually on the, uh, uh, the drone itself, so you don't really need the remote. That's Joni. What's the next one? Circle. Circle. So I'll do this. Up. Yep, four metres fine. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'll do two metres. Yep. Right, the footage now, what you're going to see, you're going to see actually from the drone itself, it's just uh, recording 4K. So I'm richly stood next to As you can see, the drone is circling. Lampoo. Oh, that's alright. <laughs> if we'd done the four metres, it would have hit the tray. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. And the drone will come back to you once it's done its task on the remote. Put your hand up to stop it. There you go. That's circle. So that was circle. Rocket. Rocket. Two metres. Two metres. So this I just should. Want to keep it low. Yeah, keep it low. Like I said, the footage what you're going to see is actually from the drone itself. So that's the control. So it's dead easy to use. Press. Three, two, one. So we'll go out. And rise up to two meters. And we'll give it a wave. We'll give it a wave. There you go. And it's got a rotation on it. That's going out in two meters. So now she's going back down. I've oh, asked it too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it too far. Yeah. So we have set it in the settings to go a bit higher. Come here. Thank you. So she comes down. Her hand on the knee. Stop. And there you go, she lands. So that was rocket, which is a pretty good feature or not. Yeah. Tell you what, get some nice aerial shots. Now you've got spotlight. Spotlight, so that should be just on us, yeah. I think spotlight is. Three, two, one. So there you go. So that was a how about today. And as you can see, Tina's moving and the camera's, the, the drone's moving itself. Lost stuff. Well, as soon as she's there, and all these features are on the drone itself. So you really don't need your phone connected or anything like that. It's pretty cool. Nickel drone. There you go. Right, we're going to put it in manual mode where you get virtual joysticks so you can control it manually oh well that's spiral so with the controller uh, with the phone you do get a couple of other options and you can actually talk to it so helix hi fly go ahead helix helix i love this shot So 
as she pulls out. He's rotating but going up into a spiral. And once she's done a spiral, it will come back to us and land on your palm. There you go. Landing. And there you go, Helix. So with your phone, it does run on Wi-Fi, so you are limited to how far you can go. But it is compatible with uh, other controllers. All right, so we're going to put it in manual mode, and you can fly it as a normal drone on manual mode take, take off All right, so take off the controllers and we are going up so the drone is doing whatever Tina's uh, I'm putting on the uh, bottoms there, I like to say. Well, it's got the feature you can move the gimbal up or down. So, the footage now you're going to see is actually on the drone itself. And that's roughly, I say, three metres, four metres. Hi, so she's going a bit higher. So you can see she's just panning it around. And you just press it on it, it will pan around slowly itself. Yeah, well. So there you go, that's panning around, like keep keeping your fingers on. Nice bringing it down. Alright, just press the button. Landing. And she will land exactly on a farm. Landing. And there you go. Alright, are we going to do it again? Yeah. But I'm going to take some photos this time. Alright. Put it in the air. Yeah. The pictures now you're seeing are actually from the drone itself. I right, said so we're not expert drone flyers. So it's ideal for someone who wants to start out learning how to do drones. It's absolutely brilliant for that. And you can hear Tina's taking photographs from the drone. Uh, you can fly this into winds up to 14 miles an hour. And for a little drone of that size, in 40 mile an hour winds, that ain't bad. We've got around about 5 miles an hour winds today. So yeah. You're off a little bit further out, love. There she goes, she's flying it around. Turn it around, babe. Take a photo of those. Up. So now she's taking a picture of us in the distance. 
and that's roughly what, 10 metres away? Yeah, yeah about so. Yeah, about 10 metres away. <laughs> Wasting it that way. <laughs> Yeah, so that's around about 10 metres away and the connection is pretty stable Definitely through Wi-Fi And Bluetooth And Bluetooth, so Yeah, cracking little drone Just bringing it back, taking more pictures uh, For metal detecting, yes This is perfect you know, you can have it hovering there while you're digging a hole. Cool, babe. Absolutely brilliant. So now she's facing up the camera. I can't fly that way, babe. I've got a sword, I can't see it. Oh. No, I can't see it. There she is. Right, well, that's it. And the best thing about this little drone is. That's even better. And you see, it's right there, you're just about to see it. So that's about 15 metres away, or so. Yeah. I know, if we, like, we're a metal detector, so when we're in the field, something like this, it fits in my pocket, and you want some nice aerial video for your channel, you know, while you're digging, metal detecting, or whatever you're doing, this is absolutely ideal. No, it ain't a big drone, it's Palmer Yan. So yeah, track it. 12%. Alright, so she's running on 12% now, so... Uh, when it gets down to around about 5%, so like 15% I think it is. So when it gets around about... Uh, yeah. So 20% battery, uh, she will, it will land. So it automatically landed. Uh, what percentage was that? Nine percent. So nine percent battery, it will land itself automatically. So for well, the DJI Mino, Nino, uh, Neo, Neo, right, what do that? For the DJI Neo. Uh, this is absolutely perfect for first time flyers, someone who wants to get into drones and for 169 quid you know that's the best part of it a professional drone for pennies basically right guys we're going to wrap the video up there I hope you enjoyed it uh, I'll leave all the links what you need to know about the drone where to get it from uh, you know you do need an operation license to a uh, flyer's license isn't it yeah. yeah a flyer's license for this i think it's 11 pounds 90 p that's in the uk anyway uh but yeah perfect right guys we'll catch you on the next video bye for now